Soil. Perhaps it's not something you frequently think about. Many people see it as dull and boring, but is it truly just that? I'm Omar, and today we are going to talk about it, specifically cation exchange capacity. So get ready to change your outlook on soil. To fully understand cation exchange capacity, we must first look at a soil's texture. A soil's texture is determined by the percentage of clay, silt, sand, and organic matter in it. A soil's texture is an important factor because it highly influences a its water retention capacity and b its cation exchange capacity. Now a water retention capacity is the soil's ability to retain usable water near the plant roots. Pretty simple, right? And a soil's cation exchange capacity is the soil's ability to hold exchangeable cations in its particles. I prepared an experiment to study how soil interacts with ions of different charge. We are going to be using acin, which is a liquid full of negatively charged ions, and methylene blue, which is a liquid full of positively charged ions. We are going to pour these two liquids into filter paper with the same soil. We are going to pour the liquids We are going to be doing the exact same thing with the ASIN. We are going to be using the same soil and the same amount. As you may have noticed, ASIN kept the same color, while methylene blue became almost as transparent as water. So why did this happen? To put it simply, particles in the soil, such as clay for example, have a negative charge, so they attract positively charged ions called cations, such as calcium and iron, which are necessary for plants. So why do they stick to these particles? Good question. If nutrients don't attach themselves to particles such as clay, they become vulnerable to external factors, such as rainwater, that can take them away, and they become no use for plants. So how do plants exactly get these nutrients from particles? They exchange hydrogen particles that they produce for nutrients they need of equal charge. So for example, if a clay particle holds iron, which is a cation with a positive charge of 3, and the plant needs iron, this plant will have to give the clay particle 3 hydrogen ions in exchange for the iron cation. Hopefully you learned something in this video and I thank you for watching.